Good evening. The state government has refused to rule out the closure of the Modbury or repatriation hospitals as it prepares to reveal details of a major health review. Speculation mounting as the health minister unveiled a controversial move to reduce flu cases and hospital overcrowding. The government blamed a record surge in flu cases for the overcrowding crisis in our hospitals, which led to patients being ramped in ambulances. Now a controversial move to relieve the pressure. Pharmacists will be permitted to give flu shots. The more people we can get having the flu vaccination, the better it is obviously for, uh, for ourselves and for our own health, but also the better it is for our public hospitals. But the Australian Medical Association is opposed to what it says is a dangerous quick fix. You can train someone to give a vaccination. What you can't train for is the very small chance of a poor outcome. It's not foreign to most pharmacists to engage in a strictly professional service like that with people. Pharmacists are yet to undergo training and the Minister still needs to amend some regulations, but it's expected the flu vaccinations will be administered at the local chemist from the end of March. It will be available to people over 18, but those over 65 or with a health condition will still have to see doctors. The measure announced so as speculation intensifies about government cost cuts to our already struggling health system and the possible closure of metropolitan hospitals. Now it's incumbent upon uh, Jack Snelling uh, to come out and tell people what is going on. Uh, is there going to be a cut uh, to the Repat Hospital? Are we going to close Mobbury? Are there going to be cuts to emergency departments? Mr Snelling says he won't comment until a government health plan is released next month. But hospital closures haven't been ruled out. We would be very disappointed to see any hospitals closed in South Australia. Lauren Barker, Nine News.